few weeks ago now I upgraded the flip stop of the crosscut fans of my sliding table saw. This one here to be specific. And quite a few people were worried about the choice of material that I used. Because I used aluminum and brass and these two materials in combination might corrode over time. So yeah, not the best choice of material. And just a couple days after the video I replaced these parts, everything actually, with stainless steel. And this has been dead on accurate every single time I've used it. Very reliable and I'm super happy with it. But that's not really the point of this video. Because after the video where I initially fixed the flip stop here, Felder contacted me. You know, the company who sells these saws and they invited me to visit them. And that happened quite fast, actually just one day after I've published that video. So then a couple of weeks later my dad and I went to visit them and surprise, I was not allowed to take any footage of their production. I think you can understand why. So yeah, I really don't have any footage, but a lot of experience to share. For example, back when I ordered this saw I had to wait five or six months for delivery and back then when they told me how long it would take I was just like what really why the hell would it take so long but now i know why because every machine is custom made after order and yeah when i ordered them i could choose the sliding table length what fence i wanted option for a scoring blade a dado blade the color of the cabinet even and or outrigger tables extension tables all sorts of things so they don't have these machines on stock but they produce them after they've been ordered and yeah, that takes a little while. And I've also seen pretty much every single step of their machine getting manufactured in their factory. A lot of people also have questioned if these saws are actually made in Austria or in China or somewhere else. And now I can tell because I've seen it that everything they make is also produced in Austria, right at the Felder factory. So yeah, that was a pretty short summary of the tour we got through the factory and honestly it was pretty cool to see everything behind the scenes of a big company like Felder. And then after that tour I met one of their engineers to talk about the issue with the flip stop. So they've seen what I've done to improve on it and took the basic idea of my video and developed this one. So let's take a closer look at that. It's basically still the same concept and the same idea, but the construction of this one is so much better than the original part which I have here. The end stop here now is a screw which can be locked down once you've found the right position and it's no longer a cantilever. And the flipping piece, which biggest problem was that it had play on its screw and just wasn't reliable. This is now so much better. Let's have a look. So this part now has a bushing glued into it which fits over this screw here and the outer diameter of the bushing fits precisely into this hole here and with this construction that flipping piece has pretty much no play at all. This screw is also locked in place and can't move and for assembly there is a brass washer then a plate spring, another brass washer and a lock nut. And with this construction it moves pretty easy. You can adjust how much tension you want by how tight you screw the nut. That's a little bit too much. That's pretty good. And it's also safe against vibration. And the last thing they improved on, the original mounting plate has one little set screw to hold it in place and the rest is held in place by these screws which you tighten when it's already in place. On the new piece they installed two bigger set screws which are shaped in a way so that they bite into the aluminum of the sliding table and really lock this piece in place. And there's another part they improved on. 
which just does not peel. This is the original knob and the whole fence pivots with this hole on this part of the knob and that's a fit, it's really precise and has pretty much no play. But the problem is that it's attached to the threads and when you lock the fence down to the sliding table with this bar, you lose the position of the fit because of the threads. So what they've done to improve on that is they took the pivot point with the threads and glued it into the bar and the new knob just screws onto there. Pretty simple actually. This now all sounds like a pretty nice upgrade, but to see if it actually works, let's try it out. I first bring it to roughly 90 degrees with the scale here. And now this part. Now I'll end it up as good as I can with the square at the blade. That's as good as I'm gonna get it with the square, so time for the 5 cut test. With the 5 cut test you take a piece of plywood for example and make a cut. Then you rotate the fresh cut surface to the fence and make another cut. Obviously you do that 5 times. And by doing this you add up the arrow in the fence, if there is one. And on the fifth cut, you then want to cut off a strip and keep that. The strip I got is wider in the front than it is in the back, so that means if I exaggerate, the fence is off in this direction, so I need to move it in the other. And therefore the set screw needs to come down. Let's say a quarter turn. I had to do two more tiny adjustments after that and now the strip I got is fully parallel within a very acceptable tolerance, which means that the fence is square. Okay, now after testing I can say and see that these upgrade pieces work and should be really reliable. The construction of the new flip piece is pretty much flawless, it moves really smoothly and the end stop here should stay where it is even if you bump against it. Pretty nice. Both the pieces, so the handle with the bar and the whole flip up assembly will be available for sale from Felder at the 3rd of March and the price they told me will be 61.50 euros plus tax and as they say it's the same price as it was before for these parts. So for all of you who had the same issues with the crosscut fence on this saw and we're hoping that it gets fixed someday, now it's fixed and available pretty soon. Now in addition to that, in the video where I presented my original solution for the problem, a lot of people contacted me who had the same problem with the same saw and asked if I couldn't make these better flip stops for them and they would buy them from me. And I really got quite a few requests and thought about making them and also started to look for resources. But then the thing with Felder happened pretty quickly after that and then it was already clear that they would sell these parts. And it's better the way it is now because I really don't have the tools to make these pieces in a larger quantity. But anyways, in the time between the video and my visit at Felder I managed to make a few of my better flip stop versions. And now I have two sets left over and I really don't have any use for them. So I just give them away for free. You'll get a complete set that contains everything you need to upgrade, the mounting plate you already have and you don't need to do any modifications to it. Just install my new pieces, install it on the saw and then it's ready to go. All the parts are stainless steel, even the washers and the nuts. And I have two of these sets available. Of course this giveaway really only makes sense if you have a saw like this because you need the mounting plate for these parts. But as I know there are quite a few people who have the saw and the same flip stop issue. So if you're interested in these parts, just post a comment under this video saying I have a K3 winner saw and want the flip stop. Then in a week I will randomly pick two comments and answer to them and trying to contact you so that I can send you these parts. And that's it.